let's say you've been holding the crypto for a while, right? Let's say you've been holding the crypto for a while. And let's say you've gotten so fed up with crypto, okay, that you sold your crypto. Okay, you sold your position, like a lot of people do, or like some people do with projects like Saitama. All right, let's say you sold off uh, your position. All right, now let's say you kept a crypto, you've held that crypto for about five months to a year. Some individuals have held, okay, their cryptos for uh, about two years or so like that. Let's just say that, okay? And it could be with any crypto, say Tom or any crypto. Let's just say you sold. You now lose, okay, that time, okay? You now lose that history that you've had invested into a crypto because the thing is crypto is long-term. All right. So when you take your money out of a crypto, I don't care if it's low fluctuated. OK, I don't care if you believe that you're down because you're not down. You're only down when you sell, when you when, when you sell. Now you're officially down. OK, uh, regardless of where your position is on the charts, if you sell, you lose all of that history. When you put your money into another crypto because you think you're doing something by do you think you're doing something right by doing that. Okay, about hurting the other project, you now lose that history and you have to start all over again. So you've now sold your two years of history all over emotions only to start over again. And now you're starting from uh, uh, day one again. You're starting from day one. Okay, so for a lot of individuals are saying, well, I sold, I got out, I got out and all of this stuff like that. And you know, you ain't make no gains. All right, especially for a lot of you average Joes out there. You ain't make no gains. Okay, so don't act like, don't sit up here and act like you, you didn't sit up. Because people that, that, that made some gains that are investing like a, a bag here, a couple thousand dollar bag here, five, ten, twenty here. Okay, and they're flipping it and making a few uh, a thousand dollars on top of that. Okay, be, and they, they're, they're doing it at the correct way. Okay, versus what the average Joes are doing. You're not making much. Okay, so... Not only do you make less, all right, but when you sell, okay, and put into another project, all right, you're starting over, over again. The thing is this, if you're two years in, if you're a year in or you're two years in, you might as well keep it in because the thing is this, you have something called uh, fluctuation, all right? The thing is, if you're at a low fluctuation level right now, okay, in your crypto, whether it be Saitama or whatever it may be, if you're at low fluctuation, Okay, that does not mean if you're at low fluctuation now today, that does not mean you're going to be at low fluctuation in a year of five months from now, a year from now. Does not mean you're going to be there. Okay, you're going to be probably, uh, depending on what crypto it is, you're probably more than likely going to be at some kind of all time high. And guess what? You're going to you're going to miss out on, on that. Okay, because uh, a lot of you, some of you sold early. All right. Meanwhile, the crypto that you took out to put into a new crypto, that crypto is damn near probably just going to be getting started. OK, and then you're going to be looking at uh, cryptos like, say, Tama, and you're going to be like, damn, I sold. All right. But it's going to be too late. And then when you're trying to buy these cryptos again, OK, when they've reached these all time highs, they're going to be too expensive. You're going to get more frustrated. And, and the thing is this, for a lot of you, it's just going to be your fault. You're just going to you, you frustrated yourself. You're doubting yourself now. You're like, damn, I'm, uh, you know, why I, I'm so crazy because I sold. You're not, you're gonna you're gonna can't forgive yourself. All right. Why do I say this and make videos like this? Because I've seen it so many times over my eight years. I've seen in the vid Oh my gosh, the Doge, the Doge stories are just horrific. The Doge stories are horrific. And the thing is this, I, I hold Doge. I don't really share, uh, you know, my Doge situation, okay, or how much I hold or whatever like that. But I've been investing in Doge since I got Doge from seven years ago. Okay, so you can just imagine where I bought it and, and where, I'm, where I'm at with that. I, I don't, But I don't talk about that or whatever like that. But the thing is this, I remember people that, that have held uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of Doge, millions of Doge, who have sold because they didn't believe in a project, didn't have patience, and it's just... The Doge stories are just uh, in insane, all right? But the thing is, there's, it's not going to just stop with Doge. It's going to keep going. It's going to keep going as long as you have in impatient individuals, okay? Seven years ago, 
Can you believe that? Seven years have passed. This is why I always say in my videos, every now will be history tomorrow. A lot of, some of you out there don't believe that uh, there is a tomorrow. You believe that what's going on today with the project is the end all be all. That's not true. Time passes, cryptos get better with, in time with value. Do you understand that? What's going on with Saitama right now? Okay, will not be the same seven years from now. Seven years from now, there are gonna be a lot of rich and wealthy individuals who have invested in projects like say Tommy and other projects. Okay, and all a lot of individuals that are so caught up in the now, I don't know where they're gonna be, probably clocking into their nine to five in, instead of uh, retiring somewhere, getting getting uh, prepared to spend that next uh, 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 20 to 30 years at a nine to five job. I don't know where they're gonna be at in seven years, all right? But the thing is that, y'all, you have to have patience. And like I said, take it from somebody who has lived uh, the, the crypto life for the last eight years, who have seen the ups and downs, especially of uh, investors who have regretted a lot of decisions that they've made in the past. And like I said, y'all, Doge, seven years ago, is gone. What was that? What was it, 2014 or 2015? That's gone. It's 2022. A lot of those early Doge investors that have held okay or whatever like that and we're talking about a project that does not have utility all right those people are rich somewhere they've retired they've left their nine to five they're somewhere on a yacht they're somewhere running multiple different kind of businesses that they've invested in because of the money they've made okay seven years is gone y'all for people that do not believe that uh that now will be history tomorrow something is wrong with a lot of you out there something is wrong with you okay so i'm going to make this video all right and remember, y'all, every now will be history tomorrow. You've been have patience in this crypto investing space or so losing the end. You don't want to be a loser. It's my video, and I will catch all of you beautiful people on it up and up. And if you're interested in Patreon, links will be in the description and in the comments. Howdy.